It's like you just built different. You know what I mean? It's like you're totally different from the masses. You may be around the masses, but you built different from within. We talk about the DNA. We talk about the management of DNA. It's really simple, bro. Once you start to understand the power that you have within, you can do so much in life. Everyone has a special gift and a special talent. You have to be able to allow yourself to tap into that. When you can just sit back for a second and speak to yourself. I don't care if you have a lot of friends or not. You seen the video that I dropped yesterday, the power of being in solitude, not being lonely, but the power of being in solitude. Bro, you gotta understand that once you start to retain your energy, you start to fast, your vibration hit different. When you speak, it hit different. See, I'm gonna make a comparison, okay? Since this is kind of relevant right now, now this is not my official reaction to what's going on in the rap game or whatnot, but I need y'all to understand this, bro. If you second guess yourself, if you have step, if you continue to second guess yourself and half step and be like, man, I don't know if I could do this. I don't know if I could do that, bro. You're going to end up like some of these people out here in the industry that kind of either embarrass themselves or they have to kind of like, you know, be like, damn, like, you know, I was about this life. But now after I dropped this, like, you know what I mean? I'm backpedaling. Being unsure of yourself, bro. First of all, you know, we're humans. It happens. You know what I'm saying? From time to time, we go back and forth with our thoughts. I want to be this type of person. I want people to remember me for this. But then, of course, you know, the matrix, it exists. You know, the social norm tells you to be a certain way. And it's up to you whether or not you want to listen to that. Now, this whole J. Cole situation, him apologizing for dropping the diss, um, I'm pretty sure everybody heard about it. Um, my opinion, even though you didn't ask, it just seems as though, you know, I, I can give, first of all, I can give Cole a little bit of credit for being real. But to be totally honest, bro, you're in the industry. You're in the rap game. You do features with Drake. You do all of these, you know what I'm saying? You're talking crazy on the tracks, you know what I'm saying? Your album just dropped and, you know, it is what it is. It's doing what it's doing. And then all of a sudden you're like, you know, nah, I'm not, this isn't me. And a lot of people wouldn't admit that. A lot of people would have just probably, you know, acted like, you know what, I'm a ride out with this beef. But there's something to say about your soul, your spirit. Because apparently after he dropped that diss track, two days later, he felt some type of way. He felt like he couldn't sleep at night. Now, trust and believe, bro. A lot of people reacted to this already. <clears throat> and I don't even think this is this video is specifically about J. Cole and that whole situation. But I'm just highlighting the fact that your soul, your spirit is real. And you may do something in the Matrix that will, you know, satisfy the ego. But you still may be conflicted with your soul and your spirit based on what you be doing. <clears throat> and this could apply to a lot of things, bro. Prime example, I'm at a job that I don't like, bro. They barely pay me what I deserve. But I, I still go. Even though I make these videos about like saying like, yo, you know, become your own boss. If you got to start a YouTube channel, do that. If you got to get a side hustle, do that. Don't, but you know, you don't want to work for anybody. But here I am 
you know, and then I, I'm in that weird space of, you know, trying to be full-time content creator where it's like, I'm not like a huge, like, I'm gonna be real. My YouTube channel is not that uh, big compared to other YouTube channels. And I'm doing this all by myself. I ain't got no features, barely. If you see, if you see anybody else on this channel, it's usually maybe uh, one of my homeboys that I went to high school with, but other, other than that, OJ, you know what I'm saying, Brad, you feel me? Most of the most of the time though, it's me. I'm doing all this by myself. But like, you know, I I still I still like tell myself, I'm like, you know what? This is part of the process. You know what I'm saying? I can't get caught up in my own head saying, like, you know what, man, my channel not growing or whatnot. Maybe I should just work. Cause sometimes in my mind, like I'll go back and forth, like, man, I'm trying to portray to be this person or be that person. But then when I'm actually at work, I do not fit in. If I, if I even, you know, even with school right now, bro, even being around like people right now, bro, I'm not even gonna lie to you. It feels like I don't fit in. It feels like I have to kind of, you know, uh, it's kind of like a, in in a way where it's like you walk around like you know like you have you have this huge secret about life, and it's not really a secret, bro. It's really not. You know, I think it's just a matter of like people knowing like yo, you can tap into your own superpower from within. You know, the power of belief, the power of repetition, the power of speaking to yourself, speaking life into your into your into yourself. You feel me? Um, being silent, bro. It's not a good thing. It's really not. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you could be quiet here and there and whatnot, but at some point in time, that energy that you have within it, you have to express it some way, uh, in some way, shape, or form. So with that being said, number one, don't put yourself in a position saying like, you know what, I'm this type of person and it's only just trying to feed the ego. You keep feeding the ego, bro. Your soul is going to tell you. Your spirit is going to tell you at some point in time, like, yo, this ain't this ain't really it. Again, J. Cole is getting fried. He he getting, you know what I'm saying? He's getting dra dragged across the internet right now based on, like, how everybody's reacting. People call him a beta male, a beta male bitch and, you know, all kind of crazy shit, right? <laughs> but, like, you know, again, I feel as though, to a certain extent, I kind of agree with Believe it or not, I kind of agree with everybody. Like, I, I'm not going to lie. If if we are in a competitive sport, uh, this thing we call hip hop, you know, if we're supposed to be competing against each other and you come and diss me, it's either I'm going to diss you and I'm going to stand on that or I'm not going to diss you at all. And y'all can just say what y'all want about me. Oh, y'all can say that I'm afraid, whatever. Y'all can say that Kendrick... XYZ. I mean, that's what people uh, 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 Drake stands are doing right now for Drake. You know what I'm saying? Oh, he didn't respond because he feels as though he don't need to. I feel like Drake is going to say something in his music, but to be totally honest, bro, I, I, I feel like a little bad for J. Cole, but at the same time, bro, you did it to yourself. And what's more scary about this whole situation is the fact that uh, anybody who's a real Kendrick uh fan or like a listener of his music you're seeing in social media right now and it's crazy how like you know social media and everybody will try to make certain topics important try to push it to your algorithm it's like you cannot unsee this shit just like the uh the eclipse today you know what i'm saying i'm seeing pictures of clip the eclipse and then people talking about they're getting their powers and people saying like you know when you look at the sun you gotta wear your shades and it's like, y'all must not sun gaze. You feel me? I don't know if you guys forgot about that, but like, to be totally honest, uh, I was just waiting for it to get a little bit more warmer so I can actually be outside and really enjoy sun gazing again. But, uh, but basically, um, this whole thing with uh, Kendra Lamar and J. Cole and whatnot, Kendra Lamar dropped a song years ago in the heart part four when he's talking about saying exactly what J. Cole seemingly did just now. So it's almost like he was kind of telling the future. And I think that's why Drake don't want no smoke with, you know what I'm saying, Kendrick low-key. Um, even though Drake, again, has responded and stuff. But, like, honestly, bro, 
I I would be lying if I said I didn't care. The only reason why like I'm even like my attention is on these on the specific subject is because these are two of the greatest, I would say, lyricists of our time. I, you can throw Drake in there, but Drake ain't... Them niggas don't be talking about nothing, bro. Like, even if you talk about Future and all these other rappers, 80 to 90% of the rappers that are mainstream don't talk about shit. You feel me? And there's only, like, a small percentage that are considered to be real, you know, niggas and stuff or whatever. But I say all that to say is um, you don't want to live a life where you're regretting your decisions and now you're saying you're trying to take it back or whatnot. The only reason why I would even say J. Cole even got up into this whole situation um, is because he it seemed like, it seems as though he tried to side with one particular group and um, he just got caught up in the mix, bro. That's just what it is, bro. And, you know, the soul, the spirit is real, bro. A lot of, again, it's not a popular, it's not a popular uh, idea to be like, oh, you know what, Cole, we can, I can respect Cole for doing that. I mean, it's a lot of people saying like, bro, you, you saw, you should have never said nothing. If it was me, again, I'm a Gemini, so. Gemini is like, especially when, it, when you, you talk about lyrical or just anything to do with words, anything like that, wordplay, that's that's a Gemini's uh, bread and butter. You feel me? So, you know, but we'll see what happens with that. But outside of that, though, um, continuing, like, you know, just my overall journey and as I, like, you know what I'm saying, you know, con continue going to school and stuff, I'm just realizing how how much I've been like to myself that almost I really almost haven't really been like talking to humans like that for real. If it's not nothing out if it's not work or going to the gym or maybe going to the store to purchase something, there's no type of there's barely any conversation. You know, I can honestly say there's maybe one young lady that I talked to, but of course, you know, she got her life to focus on. I got my life to focus on. So, but outside of that, though, uh, I feel like we all just have to realize, like, the power that we have for real. As long as you are setting some goals, because I'm doing, yo, this actually reminded me of something. I actually wanted to bring this up. This is, I guess it's going to be part two of the video. I'm not going to try to make this video too long, like, past... 30 minutes and shit but who knows but um yesterday i was super busy right uh got up early decided to go to instead of going to the gym which by the way here's one way you can uh utilize your life force energy um let's say life is boring or life is just like okay you just keep doing the same thing every week every weekend right you can Make your life a little bit more exciting by simply, number one, um, finding new ways to do the same things that you like to do. So, for example, if you like to work out, instead of going to the gym that you always go to, make some time, even if you got to save up some gas money, if you got to travel a little bit further, uh, set aside some time, some money to say, you know what, I'm going to go to a different gym. Or I'm going to go to a different location. I'm going to work out. When you do something new, right? And, and it's something that you like to do, but you're in a different place. Uh, and you're around like different, just in a totally different atmosphere, bro. It just literally opens up your eyes to multiple realities and multiple situations that you can easily be in that are, I would even consider, consider to be high vibrational because it's aligned with your frequency. So when you do something new, it actually triggers something in the brain. It ha if I'm not mistaken, it has to do with your uh, endorphins, right? Anytime you, you know, if you meet a new girlfriend or not a new girlfriend, because you can't meet a new girlfriend, you got to build up to that. But let's say you're at your job and this new girl comes to work at your job. She's a new, you know what I'm saying? Fresh face. Granted, you got probably got like five other females that have been working there for about six, seven months. 
and they, they probably fine as hell, but you see them, you know them, you know what I'm saying? You, It is what it is. You already know what you're getting with them. When you are introduced to a new experience and then when you can control the introduction of a new experience, take advantage of that and put yourself out there. Um, and one thing I got to say too <laughs> is... Uh, first of all, that's very healthy when you can do like new things, you know what I'm saying? Or just even if it's something that you like to do, just do it in a different place. This, when you can do this, bro, you'll be able to learn about yourself. You, you'll you be able to utilize your energy more. And then you're also going to understand how, I won't even say superior your energy is, but you'll understand how different and unique you are when you go out into the matrix and you go and do uh, new experiences. So you have to be open-minded to do this, right? <clears throat> so I decided to go, I didn't go to the gym yesterday. One of my classmates was saying like, yo, we, we be hooping at this park, you should come through. Or he was just telling like everybody in the group chat, come through. I was the only one that showed up. And this park was about 30, 35 minutes away from where I stayed. Now, usually I don't like driving for shit unless it's like something very important. I could have easily drove 15 minutes right up to the gym, went to the sauna, did what I usually do and came back home. And you know what I'm saying? But instead of that, I decided, so I was like, you know what? Let's go to this park that's 30 minutes away. Mind you, I have put some gas money aside for the weekend anyway. So I slid, pulled up. It's beautiful in Georgia. I'm not going to lie. I, I went to been driving around different places. I'm seeing like, yo, it's totally different. It's a lot of different colored trees and stuff. And it's still a little cooler than Florida, but you know, it is what it is. I pull up to, to this park and I see dudes playing. I think I got out there like 1130. Now, uh, usually back in the day when I lived in South Florida, uh, every Saturday, we would hoop at 9 a.m. Sometimes, we, you know, guys will get there 10, 30, 11 o'clock. So we start really hooping at 11 o'clock and then we'll play till like sometimes 2, 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock. Now in South Florida, in the afternoon on a s Saturday, bro, the sun at its peak, it's beaming down. So you talk about competing in the heat. This is why, like, dudes from South Florida, we really be hooping and, and be playing and, like, be balling in football, too, because we practice in that heat. I was used to that type of atmosphere, and I was used to that type of brotherhood, and it was it was essential for me, bro. I Sometimes I, I would look forward to Saturdays where I would just go and hoop with the guys and stuff, and after that, like, you know, we're going to go slide out, and we're going to go to South Beach, go check out whatever. It was dope. And it was a lot of people from our church as well. When I moved out to Georgia, I realized like I ain't have no real connections. I ain't had no friends. It's just me. It's just me, my YouTube channel, and everybody on YouTube that, that fuck with me type shit. But I realized I'm like, damn, bro, I kind of been <clears throat> too secluded and too private to myself. I'm like, you know, let me, let me get back out there. Let me create like a new reality for myself right so when i went out there and i hooped we i got out there at 11 30 bro kid you not bro i stayed out there until about maybe four o'clock hooping bro so we hooped for almost about like four four and a half hours full course i think we must have ran like five six games played a couple three on threes and then some more people came through now mind you these dudes ain't never seen me hoop before uh my classmate never seen me hoop before and one thing that you're going to notice, because you know I got to tie the, you know, I got to tie fasting, eating healthy, and, and see more attention into this. The one thing that people will notice is the difference in your energy versus everybody else's energy. If you're a basketball player, if you're a hooper, you understand you got your certain builds. You feel me? You got your three-point shooter build. You got your defensive build. You got your... uh energy guy build you got your you know flashy build you know what i'm saying it's different people who do uh, uh special stuff on, on the court i was always known for you know the shooters build and i play defense 
And what I actually noticed, because people really didn't know how I played, but once they seen me move and run, and they're like, yo, nigga, I need your energy. You know what I'm saying? Like, whole time, I'm trying to push the ball. Like, because I'm watching on the sideline. I'm, like, looking at everybody play. I'm looking at them. I'm like, okay, we got to push the ball if I get on the court. I'm sorry. But everybody was telling me, he was, they was like, yo, <clears throat> this dude got energy. Yo, this dude is everywhere. And I was literally everywhere on the court for real, bro. Like, I really, I be, I just like the game, bro. And I play the game the right way. You know what I'm saying? And my shot was off the first game. Second game started turning up. They started calling me icing, icing the veins. They go icing the veins like he hitting the threes. You feel me? And that's the one thing you're gonna notice about you, bro. Like whatever, whenever you want to do something that you know you're good at, and you go to different places to do that, and people don't even know who you are, what you're capable of doing, they're gonna they're gonna recognize and they're gonna realize. Okay, now. The only thing that I can say that I need to maybe improve on is just like my networking skills and stuff, but I'm not even gonna lie to you, bro. It's like when you know you so raw and you know, like, you know, when you know what you know, you know you so raw, it's like, I don't wanna come off as, you know, I'm better than anybody, especially if I hoop. It's like, when you see me hoop, like, don't worry, I'm going to record one day. Y'all going to see how I, how I play. I'm not, like, nothing too crazy, but I play the game the right way. But um, so it's like I know I'm good, but I let my game speak and I let my energy speak. And that's more than enough. Like, I don't even have to say shit. You feel me? I don't even have to say shit, bro. But uh, what I what what I plan to do is I'm gonna continue the network. Probably gonna link up with them boys again and try to hoop again, and um, just see what it's like out here. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm used to being around people I grew up with, and it's easier being myself because you know that's my you know they know who I am. You feel me? So coming out here is different, and I think you get, you're gonna also realize that too. Like while you're on your journey spiritual journey overall if you plan to travel and stuff especially if you tra plan to travel by yourself with no like roots or no certain friends maybe one or two but even if you have one or two and you're still in a new environment like you gotta you, you know what i'm saying you have to adapt so um but yeah that's what i actually wanted to uh make this video about but like i guess you know this is just uh mgt current events you know, talk about the whole J. Cole beef and stuff. And then also just, uh, you know what I'm saying? Understanding when you, whatever you do in private and stuff like that. And uh, when you're by yourself, when you come out into the matrix, you're going to be <clears throat> very noticeable. People will notice you. Um, But I think just in case you might be rusty, because this may not happen to anybody, to everybody. But just in case, you know, it's been like a minute since you've socialized and stuff like that, just continue to keep putting yourself out there. You know what I'm saying? Do some different shit, bro. Write out 100 goals. That ass. Write out 100 goals. You'll be surprised. But uh, other than that, man, MTT with a Douche Boy Movie starting. I'm back again with another video. If you're new, you already know what to do, man. Become a subscriber, like the video, and join MGT. This is a channel where I like to highlight current events and talk about my spiritual walk here in this beautiful, fucked up, sideways ass matrix. Now, first first of all, I got to say a special shout out to anybody that's holding on to your energy, going within and being high vibrational here at MGT. This is what we do. We work on ourselves every single day. Intro for the outro. Y'all, I'm going to definitely see you guys on the next video. Get out there, bro, and create your new reality, man. It's that simple, man. Do whatever you like to do. Just do it differently or do it in a different atmosphere. You'll be surprised at, at like what parts of your brain you can unlock once you start to put yourself in uh, various um, situations that are aligned with your frequency and of your interest. That's a great way to uh, utilize your life force energy. So especially when you have a lot. So other than other than that, if you resonate with this video, please leave a like, share Comment down below, drop a bag on the cash app to support the team. It's been your boy Moody Star. I'm going to see you guys on the next video. Peace.